Hi, welcome to my channel, and if you've been following the videos on the assembly of this Arsuro robot kit, welcome back. In this video, I'll be adding the final components, uh, these two DC motors, the battery holder, and the two ICs. One of them is the Atmega 8 microcontroller, uh, but bef before we add these two ICs, uh, once the once the motors are installed and the battery holder is installed and I install the batteries, if we power this on, these back LEDs should light dimly. If they do, that's a good sign and it's an indication that you can go ahead and try installing these two chips without blowing anything up. So let's get to installing the two motors and the battery holder. So first I'll install the battery holder. It's pretty straightforward. There's only two wires. There's the red and the black. And right here is where the wires go. There's a battery minus and a battery plus indicated on the PCB. So I'll solder these in place. So I just tape the wires down, hold them in place until I solder them. So on the PCB there are two connections for each motor. For the left motor here there's an ML negative and an ML positive. So I'll solder these two motors in. So here's the left motor connections. And here's the right motor connections soldered in. Okay, so I've got the two motors and the battery holder soldered in. And wouldn't you know it, I did not have any AAA batteries in the house. I just got back from the grocery store, bought some AAA batteries. But uh, really anxious to turn this on and uh, see if I have the indication that I can now put these two ICs in. These are supposed to light dimly, which uh, is supposed to be a go-ahead to go ahead and put the two ICs in. There's nothing major uh, wrong with the circuit. So let me go ahead and turn this on. All right, so they're on. It says dimly. I don't know how bright they usually get, but uh, that seems to be a good sign. So I'll go ahead and tie wrap the motors in place. And the tie wrap they give you for the battery holder is reusable. So you don't have to cut it out when it's time to change the batteries. Actually, I thought, you know, when you look at the picture, I thought it was sort of maybe the antenna. Uh, a wireless communication at first when you look at it but that's just a tie wrap so that's a good sign I'll take the battery well I'll turn this off and probably take the batteries out just to be safe before I put these two ICs in but let me go ahead and take care of the the motors tie wrap them in place and it looks like I'm all set to go on to the next stage which is to see if we can communicate with this Soro robot. So I've installed the two ICs and the Atmega 8 microcontroller I guess already has a self-test program flashed to it. So if we turn this on it's going to run through that self-test program and the manual describes what's happening but I just turned this on. You could see it 
go through its exercises. So it checks out the sensors on the bottom here that just went out. It lights up all the LEDs and it checks the photodiodes here at some point. If you put a white piece of paper, it flashes the different LEDs here. Let's see, it also tests these switches. You can see it's responding. But at one point, let's see, not yet, it's when this LED stays on you can check these photo transistors. You might be checking the IR right now. That's why it looks like it's not doing anything. But then it checks the, the right and the left motor. Drives them forward in reverse. Okay, so the light's on now. So if I Put a piece of white paper here. Oh. Too slow. So it's checking that motor. I'm checking the opposite motor. Have to put a little grease on those gears. Now both. Forward and reverse. And now if I had the uh, USB infrared hooked up, I'd be able to uh, communicate with this with the, with the terminal emulator. So everything seems to be working. And uh, I just need to load some more software. And uh, there's some sample programs I can load onto this. Not sure what they do yet. I have to take a look at, at the CD, see what's in the folders. But everything seems to be working now. So that's the next step is to running some programs onto this Asuro robot. So if you found this video interesting, please like, subscribe, and or comment. And thanks for watching.